here with me is Mr. Hovhannisyan, who is holding today his own, he held already his own inauguration, the people's not inauguration. Mine, the people's own, yeah, not yeah. mine. Yes. Not Serge, not Rafi. Uh, the inauguration now, of the Armenian nation. Yes. Uh, what, what was your main message today? Do you address the people here and you were urging them to do what? If you can please explain this Thank to you. our outside audience, please. Uh, it's not for me to urge anything. I'm a citizen of the Republic of Armenia, very proud. Very proud that the people of Armenia on February 18th said this is my country, this is my constitution, this is my rule of law and democracy. And we've lost so much in history in the genocide of the Armenian people in Western Armenia, Ottoman Turkey. And we will s seek a normalization of relations with Turkey as long as they recognize our history and our rights and a right of return and cultural heritage and Mount Ararat as a symbol of our unity. Uh, we will achieve liberation and recognition for mountainous Karabakh Republic, which should have been recognized by the world community before Kosovo, before East Timor or South Sudan. But first and foremost, the people of Armenia on February 18 said, uh, we've lost so much in history, but this is my homeland. Uh, this is my future, this is my children's destiny. Uh, and so my message is that on April 9th today at 6 p.m., before we walk together to the Genocide Memorial to commemorate not only the million and a half Armenians who lost their lives in the genocide and a whole homeland, more than the Holocaust, more than any genocide, we've lost uh, not just people, not just human souls, but a homeland. But we're going to go walk there now, and we're going to kneel before the eternal flame, and we're going to say that our homeland is not only our history, is not only this soil or this asphalt on Liberty Square. It's the living, breathing souls who have gathered, who believed, who believed in the future of Armenia. And Ser Sarkisyan and Catholicos of all Armenians, wherever you are right now, drink whatever you want, eat whatever you want, but the people of Armenia are here on Liberty Square. Join the people. Join the people, and my message to the people is that tomorrow when we wake up, it'll be a new Armenia. Rafi might not be there, nor Serge, nor Karakin Narcissian, the Catholicos, because we're all mortals. We're all past history. And the future of Armenia is our children, is our grandchildren, are the people who believed in Armenia on February 18th. And I bow my head, Mr. Tamrazian, before the people of Armenia. The Armenian people, much more than my raising the flag, have said today that this is my country, this is my constitution. Uh, we will knock on the world's door and say recognition of genocide and compensation and a closure with the Turkish people. We want that. Um, not only Kosovo, not only East Timor, South Sudan, but mountainous Karabakh will be recognized by the world community. But before all of that, Serge and Rafi and Levon and Robert all have to. And Karakin Veapar. This is the moment of truth. Let the moment of truth bring us together. I will resign. It's up to you. If you want to be macho, if you want to do whatever you did with the false oath that you've taken. I reject your false oath. I do, I do not recognize Ser Sarkisyan's. I do not recognize Kadakim Vapar's authority anymore. They have taken a false oath. And right now, after my two words here, mm -hmm. we'll go to Tizan uh, the, gen the genocide tomorrow? The genocide memorial, uh, which is not only our past, it's our future. And tomorrow, let the people decide. Okay. Let the people decide. Thank you. Thank you. This is Harry Tamrajan reporting from Liberty Square.